Right now, Cowboys seven and three. Mike McCarthy will tell you they're eight and three. Either way, they have a quality record. You look back at 2019, it wasn't exactly the same, but there were some similarities to be found. And 2019 was the year when I didn't want to hear anybody tell me how crappy those first three opponents were. I thought the Cowboys were going to be freaking awesome and kick everyone's ass all year. But they get back up to six and four after the win over the Lions. They have that awful, awful, awful game against the Patriots in which they lose 13 to nine. Bad right? weather, right? Yeah. But but very bad yes. offense. Right before Thanksgiving, which feels eerily similar to the awful, awful, awful game you saw against Kansas City, in which you lose 19 to nine. They go on to lose on Thanksgiving against the Bills. It's part of their second three game losing streak of the season. And they got blown out, too. That don't fool yourself if you go back and look at 355 from Dak Prescott in a 26 to 15 game. They were, I think, losing 23 to zero in the fourth quarter. And so it was part of that slide and so what can the cowboys do to avoid that again this year well when when win you, football games I, I would say this i don't think it's going to happen again because dak went dak went south i don't know why exactly uh i think he was dealing with a little bit of a shoulder situation if i can yes. recall right but and but nobody not a lot credits but, it when you look at the Cowboys' first 10 games, Dak is having an MVP season. I can remember going into that Thanksgiving week, and the pregame show was pretty much Dak has a chance to win the MVP. That's how yes. good of a season he was having. Even after the 13-9 and game, it was kind of like, hey, Buffalo's not a very good team. Chicago's not a very good team. Los Angeles is an okay team. Philadelphia's an okay team, and Washington's a bad team. If he can have pretty much a good game after good game after good game, the Cowboys are going to win the division, and Dak Prescott has a chance to be the MVP. And Dak went, bad game, bad game, bad game, good game, bad game, good game. To end the season. Four out of his last six games were bad games. I don't think that's going to happen again. But the way to avoid it, I don't, this is a weird way for me to answer it, would be get healthy. Because you might fall into that if Amari Cooper, he's COVID, but if he were to be out a few more games, if Tyron Smith gets re injured, if uh, you have setbacks on Demarcus Lawrence and Randy Gregory, and they're not really able to come back. So you are having to make horrible decisions and tough decisions on, um, I shouldn't say horrible, just tough decisions on what do we do with Michael Parsons? I guess we have to play him at defensive end because we have no defensive ends on this team. So that would be my thing is to get healthy. Okay. Um, stay healthy is for is for sure. Uh, you got to figure out how to make adjustments whenever whatever plan was that you had failed. Because so far the Cowboys have had two games where they've been like, "All right, we're gonna do this," and the opponent has been like, "Oh, we got this figured out today." And when you can't do something, you're sitting there trying to force it. The Cowboys couldn't throw the ball Sunday against the Chiefs, and they were like, "We're gonna throw the ball." That same thing happened against the Broncos. It took them. Four, three and a half quarters to figure out how to beat the Broncos. And, and then, then they, they finally had an opportunity, yeah. but it was way too late. And I would argue they didn't figure out the Broncos at all. The Broncos quit caring because the game was yeah, that, over. That, that, that's there too. But yeah, it was uh, that's, that's probably going to be the big thing for me, which they're fantastic at adjusting. That's what they've been so good at throughout the season. But for some reason with these two opponents, they can't figure that part out. And I don't know, I don't know exactly why. Uh, I do remember, Mike, that New England Patriots game in 2019 was like a rainy, trashy, right. garbage yeah, game. You mentioned right. that, yeah. Uh, yeah the, I said that. That's a bad the game. E the Eagles game, I think, was when we were like, oh, he is hurt. Like that, that was, was the shoulder that injury, and he was awful in that. So but, keeping Dak healthy is going to be the key. Do you have to win all the games in the in this in this stretch? Do you have to win all the games, or do you just the have stretch, to get into like the playoffs? The rest of the season, yeah. Like, do you have no. to, do you do you just have to get in the playoffs? That's the this no. team has to get in the playoffs. I know everybody wants the number one seed, 
They have to get into the playoffs and learn how to win in the playoffs first. Yeah, like because they don't know how. No, I, nobody knows how to win the playoffs in this team. I hear what you're saying. I think there's a better middle ground between getting in the playoffs because I think if you just get in the playoffs, you're going to get smoked out because you're going to have to play against Green Bay or Tampa Bay or whoever on the road. I, mean, in I think the, it's in really the first important. Round. I think it's really important to avoid the, the four, four seed, seed. Yeah. because right now, and who knows how it'll play out. The Rams are going to Green Bay, and it's an even pick 'em game. Yeah, just to show you how tough it would be if you end up losing, let's just say three more games, and you end up going eleven and six. I'm going to assume that puts you in the four spot. Okay, and if you go eleven and six, and you're the four seed, you're probably going to have to play the Rams to start the playoffs off, who will probably have a better record than you. They would probably be 12 and 5. I'm yeah. just going to throw that out. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. So you'd have home field, but you'd be going against the team that people think have a better chance of making the Super Bowl than you do at that point. And so you would be probably a pick 'em type of game in your we are hosting a playoff game. If you're the 3 seed and you're taking on the Saints, or the Eagles. Yeah. Uh, you You'd feel, feel pretty good lot, about that. Yeah, exactly. And that's why, I mean, look, I, I get the logic behind the number one seed as well, but I don't think that's like a make or break. I do agree that if you get one, two, or three, like I feel really good about that. If you get the four seed, then I think it's going to be concerning because you're going to have a significantly tougher matchup out of the gate. And then Corey just pointed out this team does not have, or these players do not have some sort of fantastical playoff track record. The other thing too, though, is if if you, you're you saying be healthy or get healthy, if you're forcing it throughout the, the the final stretch of the season, what's the use? If you're If you're injured when you go into the playoffs, everybody's going to be injured. But if you're not yeah. a little more healthy in the playoffs because – Hey, you know what? We did need to rest this guy this week. Or and I know the cow it seems like the Cowboys have been doing this all year. Yeah. May, is Tyron really hurt or are we just saving him for the for it's, the end of the season? Didn't it sound like <laughs> didn't it sound specifically like with Tyron that everyone is like talking about it as if like I mean, he could have played on Sunday, but you I know. I just think the quick turnaround. They didn't. They were scared to death of playing him on a Sunday and then having a Thursday game right it, after. So that Feeds into your point. And Mike, last year uh, we were talking, or actually it was this season for baseball. You were like, hey, pitchers are going to have a different approach this year. Their teams are going to approach pitchers with different types of innings. Everybody was really concerned because there was a short season last year. I don't know how, I don't know what coaches are really thinking when it comes to this extra game. And I know a lot of people are like, it's just one more game, but it, it, it's, it, it adds to the season. And I don't know if there are a lot of coaches and out there that are looking at it going, all right, how do we adjust to this? Do we really need, you know, McCarthy's always talking about the GPS. Yep. Do we look at our GPS a little differently? Will their bodies wear down a little more? The way they, the Cowboys have been able to, I say able, to rotate a lot of players on IR might actually be beneficial. You know, 